Hello everyone, this is Bruce from BruceBoerPhotography.com. I wanted to share with my viewers a quick review of the Moment Wide lens. This is the V2, their most recent one, and compare it to Moment's original wide lens. These are both 18 millimeter lenses. If you're not familiar with Moment, um, check out their link below and they make some wonderful lenses as well as phone cases that will help take your mobile photography to the next level. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks. So let's go ahead and take a close up look at some of the fe new features with the Moment um, V2 wide. Um, one of the things you can see right away is it, it is a much bigger lens overall than the Moment wide original. Um, it's definitely, there's a lot of glass to it and it comes in on the scale. Let's take a look here. At approximately 83 grams compared to the original, which was around 52 grams. Um, but nonetheless, that is nice. Uh, I will caution you, I use a lanyard for my particular uh, case, and it is something that you wanna think about um, as far as when you're out and about walking with this lens mounted to it, it will swing away from your chest um, or your, your body pretty quickly and pretty easily. The bayonet uh, on the back of the lens is much bigger, much larger than the original, which is nice too, because if you're using the Moment um, cleaning brush, it has a little felt pad on there. While it would easily fit into the original lens, I always felt like it was difficult to get it very clean. There's not, you know, there's not a lot of room for moving it around compared to the new V2 where there is room to move that little brush in there or that felt pad to get it clean. A um, couple of similarities between these, however, is uh, they both come with their carrying pouches and they are both uh, made of, of a felt-like material so you can uh, use them to clean the lenses very easily. They both come with, um, well, I'm sorry, the, the new V2 came with a uh, lens cap, which was probably one of my biggest concerns the originals do not come with that that is extra now with that said the new ones are not like the old lens caps the old ones you know are magnetic you could stick them to something like your phone case if it has the the metal in it which was kind of nice so you wouldn't lose it but um, you lose that capability at least I did when I got my new v2 with the um, lens cap but I am glad, thank you Moment, for including that um, piece with it. Overall, again, I'm really pleased with the uh, Moment V2. Um, it does require a couple of things to mount it to your camera. You are going to need either the phone case or you're going to need a mounting plate. This is my iPhone 5C and I have a mounting plate already attached to it. Um, this is my older case, and I was going to do a review on these cases at a later time. Um, this one, of course, has the CR2032 battery. It connects to uh, the phone by way of Bluetooth so that you can operate the shutter by pressing a button. Um, however, the new V2 lenses, are the bayonet mount is too large, so it will not mount to these. Um, one of the things why I like having the shutter button is that it is kind of big. I use a Beast Grip um, Pro mount when I'm doing my videos and I found that this little extra bit of thickness here kind of got in the way of mounting this onto the Beast Grip Pro. So this is the new moment case. This is their minimalist case. It doesn't have the battery. It's almost just like a case itself. Very slick, very nice, and I find that I'm using it. Both of them still have a place for the lanyard. If you want to, you know, get one of those or the lanyard for your wrist, you can, can get as well. Now, with, of course, the new case, you're not going to be able to mount your original lens to the case unless you also order these small adapter rings that easily stick on. Um, I am currently using all of the lenses and I have one of these adapter rings for it. This is my um, telephoto lens, the Moment portrait lens. It has one of these on the back. Very, it works very well. So that allows me then to 
mount my older versions onto the new case. So not a big deal there for you to be able to do that, but definitely um, worth it. I, I Like I said, if you want to take your, your mobile photography to the next level, um, these are probably by far your best choice as far as the lenses go. The only downside that I have found so far with the new uh, V2 lenses that Moment is now making, if you do a lot of video recording with your lenses, um, I have the um, Moondog Lab neutral density filters that I will use when outside and videotaping. This is the adapter ring so that you can mount a neutral density filter to it. Um, and of course it fits beautifully onto your original lens. Um, the bad news is it is too small, unfortunately, for the new V2s. I did email Moondog Labs and ask them if this is something that they're going to make a new one. They said that they would, but they didn't have it in the plans anytime soon. Meanwhile, what I plan on doing is just continue to use, I'm going to get an adapter ring for my um, Moment Wide Original and I will still use it with my new case. A um, little bit of a pain to have to switch between it and then when I want to, you know, you just use my original. But because I have um, three other lenses that have these rings on them, I can at least still use my Moondog um, lab adapter to these. It's just a matter of there is a clamp here. You can just slip your lens in there. There's actually some um, little flanges that stick out that stop it going past the lens itself. Tighten it up and then you just mount that onto your um, phone case. Nice thing about this, like I said, is it takes the neutral density filters. You can put in um, polarizing filter if you want, any of those that fit this particular size. So again, just in, in summary, I'm really pleased with my new V2 or, or my V2 wide. But again, I like all of the lenses. If you want a good comparison um, using photograph or looking at some, some photographs uh, online, I would suggest going to the Moment website. Um, one of the, the folks there, Caleb, um, put together a video where he compared um, some outdoor shots that he was taking, both still photography and some video, comparing the moment wide to the original. And on my website, um, some of the photos that I have posted in my blog, most of them right now are using the moment originals. Um, but if you follow me on Instagram, and I'll put that in the uh, I'll put a link in below. Most of my uh, photographs now that I'm taking, if I'm using the wide or taking with this. The only thing that would be different is if I'm shooting video. But if you have any questions or comments, anything that I didn't answer, please feel free to contact me or just leave a, con a comment below. Especially if this was helpful, if you would like for me to go through and just give a quick review of the cases. Like I said, um, they have changed those. One thing I'm not certain of is I don't think that Moment is manufacturing. I could be completely wrong, so I apologize. I don't know if they're still gonna manufacture this one that takes the CR2032 uh, um, battery that goes here. Um, their newer cases are just one battery so that it can charge your phone at the same time, which is pretty awesome. And that's gonna be probably my next investment is to get one of those and start experimenting with that. But listen, thanks for watching my my quick video. Again, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Any questions, if you want me to cover anything else, let me know and I will do my best to get something up. Thanks.